Uh, speaking of the weather now, let's talk uh, about that because we've issued another Denver 7 weather action day. This morning it is pretty calm. It's mostly clear here in Denver. Low 60s, no weather worries early on, but later on today, that's when we'll be talking about another round of severe thunderstorm activity. Mostly clear skies. It's going to be warm, dry and windy again into the high country and temperatures will be slightly below average here across the metro area. But right now we're in the high 50s from Golden up through Boulder down into Centennial. Your weather headlines to wrap Round out this week, we will be talking about the possibility for widely scattered strong storms. Some may be severe and we'll be here to let you know if any do form severe weather threats. And here across the Denver area, we do have that possibility lingering through tonight of a marginal risk of seeing storms with the capability of producing large hail, damaging winds, even an isolated tornado threat, especially over the southeastern plains. This morning, though, if you're out and about by nine o'clock, 65 degrees, pretty pleasant temperatures, typically this time in July, we average highs in the upper 80s. Today we're only expecting 77 in Denver, same up through Greeley. Low 80s returning to the southeastern plains and then west of the Continental Divide. It is going to be a hot one in Grand Junction. Once again at 97, low 90s in Montrose, where we will be seeing high fire danger for both today and tomorrow. Low relative humidity, very gusty winds from the southwest, mainly warm and dry. And as you can see from our statewide future cast, the cloud coverage over the far eastern plains still lingering through mid morning, but a lot of sunshine up and down the I-25 corridor through at least midday. Then increasing cloud coverage after about noon. Any storm activity set to develop after one o'clock. It'll first be over our northern front range mountains here in Denver. Best chance for any rain will be after four. And you can see indicated here by the yellow and orange. That's where it will be the heaviest and hail is a possibility. Then tonight into early tomorrow morning, the storm activity will gradually taper off. And then for Saturday, some areas of low lying clouds and light showers down across our southern mountains. And again for the afternoon with more moisture and instability lingering over Colorado and some warming into the afternoon. Another round of potentially severe storms, especially over the eastern half of the state. Here's a look ahead for the weekend. Tomorrow it's going to be sunshine in the morning, upper 70s in the afternoon to low 80s. Strong thunderstorms will form a line looks like from Lyman up through Sterling down through Burlington. Then tomorrow into the evening it's going to clear back out. Sunday will be a lot warmer and drier all across the state and then it's going to heat up next week. 90s return on Monday, mid 90s and mainly dry on Tuesday and then a couple of storms possible by the middle of the week.